I appreciate that, Morning Star. Epic loot and good vibes your way, dude. Hell yeah. Let's take a look. Mm. Mm. Andre Michaud is suffering from prolonged severe radiation exposure. He's barely clinging to life. Intelligence plus eight or medic two required to heal him. Improvise a treatment. Using blood plasma, right away, and your anesthetics, you manage to stabilize your patient. Well, I'll be. I think you may have done it. I'll keep looking after Andre. But I think thanks to you, he's got a fighting chance. Awesome. All right. Hey, Doc. Is this a social visit, or is something ailing you? You have any medical supplies? I can spare a few things. Let's take a quick look. Nah. You here for doctoring? I need some help. Well, speak up. What's ailing you? Cure health? Took a few bad hits recently. Got knocked around. Mm -hmm. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, cool. Okay. Just a basic heal. Gotcha. Go do kidney All surgery done. on the doctor. Any other I need I need nurse uh I need my nurse for me for that, unfortunately. Actually, never mind, Doc. What? Oh, you're leaving. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand. Hey Lena. Oh. Okay, so oh. 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 Are they cooking that thing? I want some. You should come look at this when you have a sec. All right, so we've talked to Avery. I think we have some quests to do now. Let's take a look at our map. Yep. 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 Great. Yeah, let's do some of these real quick. Also start poking around this area a little bit. Tiger counter doing cartwheels too. Yeah, this radiation may become an issue. We're just going to kind of ignore it for now, but we'll see what happens. Couple quick notes for anyone just joining us. Uh, this is a continuation of our 100% playthrough, so we will not be using any fast travel in the expansion. Um, also, on top of that, we'll be keeping to all the rules that we did for our other ones. So we'll be exploring every single location. We'll be going every place we can. Uh, this is basically just like picking up right where we left off with 100%. So, just a heads up. Uh, Morning Star with the St. Jude donation says. Hey, Coben, watching you since your first Fallout 4 playthrough. I just applied for my dream job and wanted to spread the good vibes. Dude, that is awesome. Best of luck. Best of luck with your application, buddy. Good vibes your way, dude. Potato. It is. Beaver Creek Lanes. Now, where was that? Right over here? Check out this location real quick. Oh, damn, dude. That wombo. Shit. Very good there. Being hit in melee generates a stealth field once per 60 seconds. Whoa. That seems pretty good. Oof. 
Let's go ahead and pop this open while we're here. Mr. Trickster with a $25 donation to St. Jude. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for the support. All right, let's see what's in Beaver Creek Lanes. Yeah, this Tesla gun's awesome. It's not really good for single target, but if you hit uh, a target near others, it arcs between them. It's pretty damn cool. Fog. Shit, where'd you come from? Jesus. Boop! Us again. Vim? What is Vim? That's new. That music. Standings, rules, and schedules. Bunch of stuff for the uh, bowling there. Who gives a split? Neander balls. Holy rollers! <laughs> Kingpins, alley cats, unbelievable. Scared splitless. Time to spare. Push pins and gutter dusters. Hot, hot shot with the $100 donation to St. Jude. Awesome, man. Good vibes and epic loots to you, buddy. Thank you very much for your support of the charity. And I think we just passed $32,000 raised. You guys are ridiculous. Thank you, dudes. And a big thank you to Hot, Hot Shot, Mr. Trickster, and Morningstar for those recent big ones. Hmm. Oh, we got some corruption down here. Yeah, file corrupted, detected. Hmm. Wait, what was that second option? Employee memos. Vim machines being marked out of order? Um, something about Vim machines being out of order. Okay. Don't know where they're sending me yet, but I know my ship is leaving out of Hawaii, so I'll send you all some pineapples if you promise not to try and bowl with them. Mrs. Miller is bringing her famous fried fiddleheads for the party, and we need to know how much to buy, so make sure people know to RSVP. This is a guy shipping out to the, uh, to the war. Oh, man. Update on Thomas. Hey, guys, I talked with Daisy, and she wanted me to pass along that she found out. What she found out. This is what she heard from her honor uncle, so I don't really know how much more to go on or what she was told. Apparently his destroyer went down sometime in April, around the time he stopped sending us postcards, but the Navy is being really tight-lipped about what happened. He was still MIA till two weeks ago, but they were waiting to contact his parents till they knew if he was going to pull through or not. Good news! He's alive and they're sending him home with the Medal for Bravery and an honorable discharge. We don't know exactly when, but it sounded like sometime this year. Okay, now the bad news. Thomas has some kind of spinal injury and the doctors say he'll probably never walk again. He may never be able to bowl again either. Dining area is off limits. Sorry about all the mess and commotion in the dining area, everyone. Matthew and I talked with Mr. Clark, and he's not going to sue. He understands it was all a mishap. He wasn't hurt, just shook up. All of his games and half his beer tab are in the house still for their notice. The insurance adjuster will be coming by sometime tomorrow. May ask you some questions regarding the hole and the accident. Just let him know that Matthew and Mark were working on repairing the mechanism from one of the ball returns, and it went haywire. Better news, we got news that uh, Thomas will be returning home in early December. 
Mark and I are working on building a temporary ramp for his wheelchair to Matthew can get a permanent one installed on the plus side. I guess you could say the launcher was a success, so we may be able to get our lead champion back on the lane after all. Wow. The structural engineer says the building is unsafe, and she won't know if it can be repaired if the whole building has to come down until the debris is cleared out. Oh, man. And this was 10-19-2077. This was right before the bombs. A little snapshot of history there. I kill a guy, you say that? You dingus. Economy wonder kind of work. For the kids! $50 donation! Thank you very much, buddy. Really appreciate your support, dude. Thank you. Uh, technically speaking, if it's 200 years after the war, there should then there should be nearly as much radiation. I think most of the isotopes have decayed by then. Oh, I don't know, Bizobinator. I, I'm not sure of the decay of the radiation in this game. I do not know. Some interesting science to work out, though. Sneak attack for 3x damage. I'll take it. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Good. We'll take that. Anything useful? What does Vim do? Maybe it's good. Oh, it is pretty good. Wow. Just straight up HP and AP. Vim refresh increases action point recovery rate. Alright, cool. That stuff's pretty good. I'll have to keep that in mind. What's the difficulty? We're on very hard. The hardest that's not survival. Whoa. Acid. Oh, you were already dead. Whoops, my bad. You aren't though. I hope that guy was really dead. I'm gonna feel kind of bad if he was like an NPC or something. Modified bowling ball? Modified. Uh, so Mark and I had to scrap the return lane return launcher idea. Getting the wheel up to s the speed we wanted was just sanding flat edges into the balls that threw off the balance and was ruining them. We were talking with some of the old timers and Jacob said we should just get one of them fat man catapults and use that. Wait, what? What did they do? Oh lord. So first the good news. The launcher is working. We'll have, uh, we're having trouble with the balls getting caught in the launch tubes. 
Oh, look above the balls. Oh, we will. Okay, cool. But shaving down the polyurethane on the balls is a smidge, and putting a flesh, fresh coat of wax and polish on it has launching them wicked fast. WICKED FAST! The bad news, in all caps, is that we forget to reduce the tension springs in the first ball we launched flew straight through the wall of the office and stoved in a table in the dining area. Damn near took out Mr. Clark with it, knocked him clean out of his chair. Oh my lord. Gotta record this so I don't forget later. Mark Wilson's hollow tape. Did we eject it? Was that it? Gotta record this so I don't forget later. After we closed up for the night, you know, Matt and I split a couple of pictures while cleaning the pin setters. We got to talking about Thomas. I, I just can't believe he's gonna be stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And now, like, he ain't never gonna have the chance, you know, to pull that perfect game he's been so close to. So it's like a quarter of three, and we're shooting the balls back up the return. Checking the motors and all, and we get this, you know, this really good idea. So Thomas's arms still work, so maybe we could use one of them ball returns, but you know, we'll hook it up to a stronger motor and mount it on a board or something. He could launch the balls out of yeah, and down the lane. He'd be like a, like an awesome bowling gun. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. All right, now of course we need to try this thing. I mean, for science. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. All right, hold on. We we gotta find some pins. What? Oh shit. Get out of here. Oh, there it is. There we go, boys. Alright. We got this. Are these all modified? No, they're regular. Man, this place is big. Oh, this is where we killed that dude. It's a trapper. Hmm. Wow, a lot Should of made a mess of this place, didn't they? Okay, before we do all this, let's go and try this bowling gun. But there's so much stuff to do. Whoops. Am I planning to use mods? No. Oh, it's right next to me. To the right. Also, do we have any more coffee, sweetheart? That's it. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. There better be an achievement for this, or I'm gonna be disappointed. All right, ready, baby. It's time to go bowling. Oh, Jesus! You gotta roll, bro. Come on. Oh, damn, a little bit off. What? Oh, almost. Hold on, we got this. I will win. No, unfortunately. 
Jerk. This is happening. I don't care. This is happening. Eight shots now? I, dude, it doesn't even matter. This is like golf, okay? I got a handicap. Oh, you son of a... Oh, you son of a mother... Okay. Mm. Okay. Here we go. I feel good about this shot. Science. Bum 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 bum. Oh, shit. Shot you right in the butt. 